Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your man Jay. And here is the Bison X by Yumi Digi. Now, I've actually had this for about uh, maybe a month or so, I'm not sure. And um, I had the Bison, I have the Bison Pro. And I showed you this one and I told you I was going to go ahead and show you the new version. Uh, this is another one in the line, the Bison lineup. This one right here is obviously a little bit more affordable uh, because, you know, it's, it's the same style and design and everything. It's just, it's a little bit more affordable. It has a, a lower resolution display. You know, things are in different places, like fingerprint readers over here and fingerprint readers over here on this one. It's just, uh, it's one of those things that, you know, you decide which one you want to go with. But this one right here is actually, you know, it's, it's packing some power and punch and specs uh, for the price. So this too has IP68, IP69K, this one has a bigger display of 6.53 inches, and it is a 720p display. Don't let that deter you, because I'm going to show you what's up. This one also has a 6,150 milliamp hour battery. It has those same programmable buttons right there, remember? Right there. So, uh, let me see if I can zoom a little bit on this hardware. You can see right there, waterproof. And that's the button right there that you can program. And then here's the other button, and then it's got like shock proof over here just a little you know branding to show you but if you look at these corners on the hardware this is serious drop protection folks this is this is a rugged phone right here this is what this is what yumi digi is 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 doing they're doing these rugged joints man and and these phones are really good man i, I mean they're good phones so uh, this one, though, it has the, instead of, like, the G80, like, this joint, this one has the P60. But, again, don't let that deter you. I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to play a game here, play some games or whatever. So, um, it says it's got an AG matte frosted glass on here, but it comes with a screen protector. And so, I left it on, you know what I mean? So, you know, nothing against this right here. I just left the screen protector. I just didn't take it off or whatever. But um, here's the fingerprint reader, as you can see. It's built into the power button on this one and on, on the this pro model right here. The power button is right here on this side and then the fingerprint is on the other side. So I like that. So little little difference, you know what I mean? S little subtle things that they're doing. Uh, but in any event, really nice. Um, it's got a 20 megapixel uh, camera on the back here. Uh, I'll show you the cameras in another video probably. I'm not sure. But it's got the dual microphones on the back here and everything. It's got the fingerprint reader, Android 11, NFC, Google Pay, or whatever, and it's doing its thing. So I've been playing uh, Asphalt 9, and um, I just I just feel like this, this phone and the battery is just, man, you can't kill this battery in a day for nothing, man. I mean, it is really, really good, uh, and I'm kind of pumped, man. I'm kind of pumped that... Uh, this 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 phone can handle some 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 gaming right here. So I'm starting here because some of you might question the G60 uh, or the P60, but remember the P60 is a is a good processor, man. You you shouldn't be you know too salty about it. It's actually uh, I know Helio has proven themselves already, but on some of these phones right here, some people are just not feeling it. They're not feeling the lower end processors. I guess I want to say. Uh, but this isn't to me a lower end processor. This is kind of like a mid tier processor, I would say. But just look how it plays this game. You know, what I'm saying I'm I, I've been playing this for a little bit when I'm using the phone, and you can look for drops in the frame rate and stuff like that. I personally feel like it's it's doing it's it's just does good. Um, but you know, hey, what do I know? I'm getting it in right here. Coming for your head. Look at that boom. Oh, he shot on by me. Dang, I tried to. I normally would do my double tap it and get my um, little twist on. I don't need this, man. Come on, man. I know how to play this joint. Come on, come on, come on. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I don't know why it's giving me another tutorial. And I've been playing this and I know how to play it already. Uh. Smoke them, baby. Yeah, this this phone man is is absolutely beautiful. It's doing its thing, man. It, it I think that played fairly well. I mean, I could be crazy, but 
So it's not a fluke. I'll pay another level. Let's let's get another level in real quick. But this is what I've been doing with this phone, and I've actually been. I know it's a rugged phone. I know it's a rugged phone, but I've just been really because actually, if I'm being honest, I was kind of concerned about the P60, even though I've used it before. I still was a little concerned, like ugh, I don't know, in a rugged phone like this, you know. But um, yeah. Now, a weak point of this phone is this backfire, backfiring speaker. You turn it on and you sit it down like this, it's a wrap. It, it covers it up. It muffles super easy. Uh, but I'm going to get into hardware and everything in just a second and screen and performance. But I wanted to play another game real quick as I'm chatting about this phone. The screen is 6.53 inches and it's actually, you know, it's actually really nice, man, for what it is. It's really nice. I don't have any complaints about the screen. Uh, and I think some people probably will just by looking at the specs. I'll use a 720p display in a minute, son. You know, I don't have no problems with it. All right, come on. Give me get my boost. I'm going to get my boost. Come on, come on, come on. Let me get my boost. Yeah, I'll use my a 720p display in a minute. I have no problems doing that. Yep, this bad boy is getting it, man. I don't, I don't see any problems. You tell me. You see some problems? You see any problems? I mean, just look at the performance here. This is this part of this. Just I'm staying right here for a minute because some people uh, kind of think this is going to be bad for the performance. But when you talk about a phone that's under two hundred dollars or whatever, and it's you know it's going down like this, yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of happy with it, man. And again, I've been when I've been getting these Bison phones in for review, I've been kind of like, you know what, man? Mm, maybe I should check this out. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, we should use this first instead of doing just a traditional unboxing. You know what I mean? So that's that's pretty good. And you think about what this phone is offering for the price, like $150, $150 or something like that. You've got a very nice display. Let me change the wallpaper and, and you know, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you about some things that I thought was kind of suspect. I'm not sure. I was like, mm, I don't know about that. But we'll get into it. We'll get into it. Okay, here's a nice bright, bright, vivid, vibrant uh screen right here, raw paper. So I was looking at like this. First of all, I don't like this resolution right here with the four icons. I like to spread out more. And, it, you know, on this one, it's the same thing. You cannot, like, really spread five across. Uh, and that's kind of agitating when it comes to the software. And then the software is uh, fairly, fairly fast for what it is, man. It's not uh, social media and everything on here is going to be just fine. No problems with that. that. That shouldn't be an issue for you. Um, but, um, you know, overall, the software and performance, it's going to be good, folks. I, I, I can't say that it's going to be bad at all. Now, where these phones really impress me is the hardware. I mean, the, the hardware on these things, these are rugged phones. And I've had some people say, oh, your video is fake. I destroyed this phone in one drop. That's a lie, man. There's no way. They're, these are retail packagings that I'm getting from all these companies. And there's nothing wrong with the 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 freaking uh, the hardware on these, and these are seriously hardcore drop protection phones. Absolutely not, because I've got regular phones that I drop and don't break right away. You know what I mean? Like this phone in a case, it, it's been this phone has been dropped in this case so many times on all types of um, uh, materials and hard grounds and gravel and grass and cement, and it is still in a, in good condition. The case is beat up, obviously, but. The phone has not shattered, and then this phone right here has that built on top of it. Look at all these this metal and all these different screws and bolts in here to hold this thing together. I mean, it is this phone is going to be hard to destroy. So I find it hard to believe that a person destroyed this phone or or any of these Bison phones. This is like my tenth Bison phone on the channel, probably easy or at least ten. I've had at least ten of their of their Bison phones on. And every year I'll say I'll get one just about, or two, sometimes or at least two, I'll say. And none of them have broken on me. Water, dust, sh throwing it across the brick field, it just, it just doesn't get damaged, folks. It may get scratched up and nicked up, but it still works. And that's the thing. And that's what it's about. So these cameras on here, um, this is kind of like a, you know, it's okay. It's not something that's going to be... And I'm mind blowing on here. You know, they're going to be good enough, uh, but I can guarantee you there's better cameras out there. But, you know, when you look at this, this isn't bad. That's that's pretty, pretty doggone good quality right there. 
a little shaky, but you know what I'm saying? Like it's it'll do. A little blurry when you get in a little bit, but it's still it it will do, folks. I don't think a person is probably buying these for the cameras. Uh, but if you do buy it for the cameras, hey, is what it is. The autofocus is a little slow, but you know, still, once it locks on, or you know, if I lock it on, I guess I'll say, if I lock it on right there, boom, it takes a good photo. But not not all you know phones are created equal, that's for sure. But look at that. Once I lock it on, though, decent man, decent enough for social media, that's for sure. So, you know, when we look at phones like this, when I'm bringing phones on a channel like this, it is for someone. Just like zero limit cases is a good, another good example. Those, those videos are for someone. And I think I have followers in all over the country and all over the world. And they like to see this type of stuff because, they you know, it's available for them. And they, they're trying to decide, hey, should I buy this? You know what I mean? But I like this, man. I've always liked the bison lineup. Is it perfect? Nah. I don't, I don't like this four across joint and you know, the, it's running Android 11, but I was kind of like, is it really Android 11? <laughs> yeah, I'm always thinking like that, man. I'm always thinking like that's on the August security patch. Uh, and that's not bad. You know what I mean? Let's see. Here you go. Yeah. Android 11. Right? I'm always questioning certain phones, but Yumi Digi is the real deal. They make great phones. This is stand-up, rugged, hardcore. If you want to give a phone to your shorty, man, like to your child, this is one you should consider. Or the Bison. They want a smaller version. This Bison Pro, oh my gosh, man. It, this is kind of like a smooth matte feel. And I think that's what, when they're talking about the matte glass, yeah, my bad. They were talking about, when I was talking about the front, they were talking about the back. I'm so used to having matte screen protectors, but they were talking about this matte right here. So my bad on that misinformation right there. But I'm telling you, both of these are banging. But this one is obviously a little bit more smaller because of the screen size. But this one's also 1080p. This is obviously the pro version, if you will. That pro terminology gets thrown around all the time. But the fact of the matter is, this is just... Uh, a, a little bit better processor, a better screen, and better cameras, but they both do the same thing. And this video is about uh, this one because this is one of the latest ones, and I genuinely like this product, man. If I didn't have all these Android phones and I wasn't like really into like, oh, I gotta have the latest thing, and I worked in construction or something like that, or I was just a regular dude who didn't want to buy a case, or ladies, if you don't want to buy a case, there's women out there. This is what I could recommend to you, man. I kid you not. This these these phones are on point, man, and they they're they're totally worth the money coming in at a lot less price. I mean, you can't deny some of these things, man. It's just in our mind we feel like we gotta have what's only offered uh, to us and what's in front of our face, and we don't have to. It's your man Jay, the Bison X. About thirty days with this bad boy. It's been good to me. I expect no less.